Around the World in 80 Days is a German film that was released in 1919. This film is very mysterious because I wasn't able to watch it. Um, I went in search of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not lost. So um, I'm going to put the information in the description box because there was a blog, there is, and they're looking for it too. The people that are part of this blog is looking for it as well. Um, Wikipedia, of course, Wikipedia, you know how I feel about that. It says one thing and there's another place that says and it's just <laughs> can't find this movie <laughs> in fact apparently it was released to blue ray last year i went and search it's it's not because every link showed the david niven version which is of course 1956 so, what's going on? <laughs> the blog uh, showed posts from 2011. And um, it had like a, a, a private um, collection. And they're guessing that it had fragments that were lost, which, okay. And... So it was a German collection, and it was found in this collection, and all that. Um, so, <laughs> and then, as I was looking through this blog and everything, um, all of a sudden somebody said that it was at this German museum, which it, it isn't anymore, because again, 2011 and everything, and, and so, but... Wikipedia is saying that it was found in 2021 at the iFilm Institute in the Netherlands. But when I searched right before filming this, it's not there. It's not lost. <laughs> it's just... The reason I was so excited to watch this is because it stars Conrad Veet as Phileas Fogg. I so want to see that. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Conrad Veet. Oh my goodness. I, I wanted to see that. And um but the only thing that I could see what that I could find were two stills from the movie. And then of course the uh poster. That's all I could find. So uh, the film itself is two hours long. What? Where's this movie? <laughs> oh, oh. So um, I mean, we we know the story of uh, Phileas Fogg traveling around the world in eighty days with his servant Passepartout, and um, and of course Detective Fix following after him because of him being wrongfully accused of robbing the bank in England. So, um, <laughs> I wanted to see that. <laughs> I wanted to see this because again, I, I'm a fan of Jules Verne. I'm a fan of Conrad V. That would have, I, I wanted to see, but I wasn't able to find it. So this is one that I have not seen and to find that there are other people who are in search of this and there's contradicting information on this. Yeah, apparently several places are saying that it's on Blu-ray. Um it didn't say when in 2023. So I, I don't I don't know what's going on there, but um <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there was a, a problem with uh, with technical stuff and they had to rip it, you know, remove it from, you know, th there could be all kinds of reasons why we're not seeing it. And, um, but, but this movie does exist. It's not lost. It is not a lost film. No. 
uh, two different places, like a, a private collection, I believe. Again, I will have all the information in the description box for you. Um, and then, of course, the iFilm Institute in the Netherlands. Uh, this uh, blog uh, community had been searching as far back as 2011, probably longer. And um, so they've been searching. I was excited to see it because, again, big fan of Conrad Veet. He's one of my favorite silent film stars since doing this. And I'm also a fan of uh, Jules Verne. And um, I didn't know that there was a silent version of Around the World in 80 Days. So when I found this, I was like, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Can't find it. <laughs> but again, I will have all the information in the description box for you. This is Around the World in 80 Days. It is a German film. It was released in 1919.